For most parents, a trip to the grocery store involves the children. And while that may not seem like a treat to dad, it can be for a child. What better place could there be for a toddler? What's the grocery store? It's a party. There's brightly colored packages. People are grabbing stuff and putting it in the cart. People are eating things. There's cold places. There's hot places. There's packages I recognize. There's packages I don't recognize. There's produce I recognize. There's produce I don't recognize. And people are touching everything. So it's really difficult if your toddler is observant at all to say to the toddler, now let's just sit in the cart and not touch anything. Containing your child's enthusiasm should start with containing your child. Each year, nearly 13,000 children fall out of shopping carts because they weren't buckled in properly. Two-thirds of those children suffered head injuries and 5% are actually hospitalized. Please remember a grocery cart's just like the car. Buckle them in, make sure they're secure. Of course, if it were just a matter of keeping the kids in the cart, shopping would be a piece of cake. But your child's attitude, in or out of the cart, has everything to do with how much you enjoy your trip. So what can you do to keep them happy? Give them a job to do. Jeff Rosenswag tries to do this with his boys, Max and Ross. When we're picking out Max's snack for the week for his lunch, he, he gets out and he gets to pick out his own items. So he can go, he can go to the shelf, he can reach it, he picks it off himself. You know, same thing with like cereal or Pop-Tarts or anything that's for them. You want the red grapes or the green grapes? Um, red. The red grapes. Children can help choose flavors, point out colors, hold packages, any number of tasks. The trick is to keep their hands and minds occupied so they feel they're participating in the experience. Providing a snack for your child can also help tie them over. Despite your best efforts, your children may still misbehave in the grocery store. And like many parents, you may be tempted to bribe the child to quiet down. But Dr. Schifrin thinks this could cost you. No! Yeah. No! Yeah. No! Okay, no letters. <laughs> If you're in the store and your child's acting out and you don't like what they're doing and you take them to the candy aisle and give them candy so they stop their behavior, you will be assured to see that behavior again and again as, as the child wants to be rewarded with candy for it. Of course, it isn't just a matter of getting in and out of the grocery store without a tantrum. Grocery shopping can be good for your children. There are lots of things that they can appreciate about the grocery store. They can see produce, they can see letters that are uh, a part of the displays. They can see uh, a hundred different things taking place in social context. Frosty boy, let's go.